fitness education online. Uh, Want to do a quick boxing workout for boot camp? Uh, I'm going to grab Claudia. She's going to grab her her gloves. Uh, first things first. I want to do a sound check. This microphone is 50/50. Half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. So just comment below. Can you hear me clearly? Just type yes or no and let me know. Um, and usual deal. If you're watching the video, just hit the like button. And if you want the written description, just comment written description down below, and I'll get it over to you. Now, uh, yep, gloves on. Okay, yep, easy. So, um, okay, so it's going to be a core strengthening based drill and it works best if both people have boxing gloves on. Now, I don't wanna to move too much because this whole camera will move, but in a nutshell, that one person would hold a plank there. I would also have boxing gloves on as well. Claudia would do two plank and punches. So go, one, two, then she would break. I would then run to my cone, 15, 20 meters. I would come back, Claudia's back up. Now she'll do four, one, two, three, Four, she'd break, I'd run to my cone, 10, 20 meters, come back, six, eight, 10, okay? Does that part make sense? There's a little bit more to it, but I just wanna make sure that part makes sense. So it's plank, two punches, I would run, they kick back there. Then four, six, eight, 10. Just comment yes down below if you're with me. Uh, what can make the drill even better is instead of a complete break, add a, add a posterior chain exercise in there. So it would look like this, we would do two punches and then Claudia will do a Superman, so on, yep. So two. You know, yeah, plank, 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 yeah, go, same thing. So, one, two, but instead of breaking, Claudia would do a Superman, right? I'm not sure if you can see it there, but I'm sure we all know what the, the Superman is, right? I would come back, one, two, three, four, she would hold a Superman, okay? Does that part make sense? Comment yes and let me know. There's another way you can do it, which we'll show in a sec, but I just wanna make sure we've got our head around that. And it's a good drill for a few different reasons. Number one, it's good for both people, because it's still a good workout for me, because I'm just doing a crazy amount of shuttle runs, right? It's a good workout for the um, the boxer, because they're holding a, a plank and moving with the plank as well, but then they're also getting posterior chain in there, because a lot of the time at boot camp, we neglect the posterior chain. Everything we do is very anterior chain based, right? But with that drill there, not only working our core, keeping on but we're also working the posterior chain as well okay does that make sense type yes if you're with me and the way I like to run this drill is without a break so I would go two four uh, Claudia will go two four six eight ten with me running and then we just switch around straight away because we've both got gloves on and then I'm not gonna do it because I'm plugged in I um, mean because I'm lazy but then Claudia would do you know I would do the punches two four six eight ten Claudia would run and then it's like a race to finish Right, once the because you have a whole heap of groups doing it, once the first group is finished, you all stop and then you can do it again, but you do it with a different partner. Does that make sense? Comment yes and let me know because that part's key as well. Because you know, a lot of times you just get the fit people going together, right? So, of course, they're going to win it, but then if you change partners, you give a, a different perspective, then it's just a, a, another fun way to do it, right? I'll add to it in a little bit as well, but just comment yes down below if you're with me there. Um, another way you can do it is with a sit up, so it could be instead of a, a plank and punch, a sit up. So Claudia could do a sit up, yep, and one, two, two, yep, and then I would run, come back, and then this time it would be four. So it would be one, two, three, four, yep, Claudia would kick back, I would run, um, and then instead of the, the kicking back on the sit up, you could do a bridge or a hip thrust. So, yep, so as I was running, Claudia would do a, a hip thrust there, once again work the posterior chain. All right, thank you, Claudia. Anyway, that's today's uh, workout there. If you liked it, just hit like. And if you want the written description, just type written description down below. Have a good day. So that's it for today's episode. I would love to invite you into the Fitness Education Online Community Facebook group if you're not in there already. It's a free Facebook group. There's thousands of trainers in there. We all share tips and ideas. Everyone's super supportive. And that's really what we do at Fitness Education Online. So uh, I'll see you in there.